Today's episode is a very interesting one and like the title already suggests, I'm about to share with you how to make a man earn your attention. Let's get right into it, shall we? So this episode was inspired by a video that I came across on social media. To me, I think that that video was quite pathetic and it brought tears to my eyes and made me feel so bad for the woman who was in the video. I'm gonna play the audio. I won't show the video because I don't want to show her face just to protect her. But I'll play the audio so that you guys can have an understanding of why it was such a sad video to watch. And this wasn't actually content. This was real life. This was, let me just play the audio. Okay, hold on. Need a husband. I need a husband. It's not easy for me. Life is frustrating me already. It's frustrating me already. I'll be posting years this month. No husband, no child. I'm getting old. I'm tired of seeing my father's house. Please, if you want money, I can give you money. I will give you my car. You have access to everything I have. You have access to my car, to my wealth. You have access to all my property. Please, come and marry me. Come and marry me. The more I listen to it, the more pathetic, like the more, the more upset I feel. And I'm just, I'm not going to play the entire video. But when I listened to the video, I felt so bad and so sorry for this woman. And I actually reached, tried to see if I could find her. But the video circulated too much and I didn't know where the original source came from. So it inspired me to film this video because I feel like, or I think in my opinion, that what she did, the video she made and put out in the public is actually a big embarrassment and a big disgrace to the women folks, to the women gender. So as much as I felt pity for her on one hand, at the same time I felt very disgusted by the video because this actually puts out a narrative to the world that women are in, or all women are desperate or in search of a man who would come and marry her, marry us. And then it also puts out the narrative that we are, we are so desperate that we are willing to offer up our wealth to men just to come and marry us. And what this woman doesn't know is that the kind of men she would attract by doing this will not be men who actually care about her or her, or her interests. They would be low value men who have nothing to offer her and are just there to come leech on her and everything that she has. So with that being said, this is not the main point of the video, but this actually inspired the video today. And I'm about to share with you some things you can do as a woman that can make you earn the attention of any man in this world, anywhere he is, from any background that he is. Let's get right into it, shall we? The very first point that I've put down here on my list on how you can make a man earn your attention is you have to become a high value woman who already has life and things going for her in her life. I can't stress this point enough. You have to be, you have to have a quality life in every area of your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, in your work, personally, in every area. You have to have life already figured out to a large extent. I filmed the whole video. We have a couple of series on this channel where I talked about the high value woman, qualities of, of a high value woman, how to thrive in your femininity as a woman. I think just look for the videos and watch them it's somewhere on the channel. But it's important that you are a high value woman who has life figured out. Now, let me tell you what this does. This automatically shoots up the interest of any man because now all he seeks to do will be to unravel the mystery of your existence, the mystery of what makes you you. Why are you, like he sees you as, you know when a child goes to a candy store and is so excited, or when a child is trying to unravel something, he watches you as a mystery, and that gives them a sense of satisfaction because men are natural chasers. And for you to want to chase something, you should be attracted to that thing. There should be something attracting you to want to chase that thing. So when you are a woman who is high value, who has life figured out, who has things going for her and doing her own thing and is not overly just waiting and sitting still and begging a man to come and marry her. I tell you, you become such a big mystery to this man. You become fascinating in his eyes. You become a wonder to him and he just wants to unravel you. And because of that, he continues to pour attention on you, continues to feed you with attention, continues to call you 
text you. He wants to be a part of this beauty that is called your life. I tell you, this works like magic. One question I would ask you under this point is, and you have to be very honest with yourself, ask yourself this question. Can I truly consider myself a high value woman? And if you can't answer that question with your full chest, then you still have a lot of work to do. And I advise you, get to work, okay? Get to work. The second point that I've put down here that can make a man earn your attention is you need to stop accepting the barest minimum. Stop accepting the barest minimum. You, my elegant ladies, are queens. You're premium babes who deserve only the best of the best. And I'm saying this to you so, so that it can sink in. You are a queen who deserves only the best of the best, regardless of whatever level you are in. So stop accepting the barest minimum for men. And if you have the mindset of this woman, that's probably what you keep accepting because you feel like men, your life should revolve or be centered around men. And a man is only the thing or the one thing that makes you complete. Stop accepting last minute dates. A man just wakes up in the morning. Okay, girl, I want us to go have lunch. Um, meet me at this. Hello, did I wake up including you in my schedule? Don't do that. It is not demure, it's not cutesy, it's not elegant, it's not very classy. And it just also shows that you don't have a priority for yourself or your day and you just, you have very low standards. Stop accepting thoughtless gifts. A man just wakes up and just does any, just don't, don't accept it. Stop accepting excuses from him when he can't step up to the plates. Stop accept, accepting to make his life easier when he hasn't proven himself to you or hasn't proven his worth. Stop going out of your way to impress him when he hasn't committed to you or he isn't loyal to you in any way. Stop it. Women, stop it. Ugh. <laughs> stop accepting the barest minimum for men. Now, let me tell you something. When a man sees that over here in your world, effort is required to get your attention, he will step up to that plate. If he is indeed a real man, who cares about you and then any man who doesn't put in that effort any man who doesn't put in effort to try to win your attention win you over trust me that man is not supposed to be in your life i'm hammering on this point because i've seen girls i've seen women grown women throw themselves away throw themselves throw their lives away all in this in the name of trying to impress a man, trying to make the man like them. No, a man that likes you will like you, even in your worst state. And you don't need to do anything to actually make him like you. In fact, the tougher you are as a woman, the more the man is going to like you, if the man has sense. I'm telling you this with my full chest. I'm talking from experience though. Stop accepting the barest minimum. Stop accepting his nonsense excuses when he can't step up to the plate. Stop accepting last minute dates. Stop accepting things that you know that on a normal day, personally, you will not accept, you will not tolerate, you cannot do it for, you, you won't tolerate it for maybe your brother, your uncle, or your friends, but the man does it and you're okay with it. Why? Stop it. Set the right standards for a relationship. And men see you, men see how you treat yourself. And when they see that you're treating yourself shabbily, with no self-esteem, they will treat you that way. And that's what actually leads to them treating you anyhow. And before you know it, they get what they want, they go. Then you now start crying. You want a man who's gonna marry you at 40. Step up, girls. Step up, sisters. Let's do better, okay? The Art of Speaking course is still very much available for anyone who wants to elevate the way that they speak, who wants to learn to communicate their thoughts, feelings, and ideas articulately, eloquently, and of course, very elegantly. Just click the link in the description box down below to get more information on how you can access the course. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, now is a good time to hit the subscribe button, join the family, and let's continue to grow this elegant community together. Let's get right into the video, shall we? The next point I put down here on how you can make a man earn your attention is stop overly texting or calling him to get his attention. Men respond better to no contact and they will rather be the ones wanting to chase you. If a man meets you hmm, and he's not the one initiating conversations at the initial stages of trying to get to know each other, he has to be the one initiating the conversations. If he's not initiating the conversations, my dear, hold yourself back. Engratia, self-control. 
Mm. No matter how much you are in a, you have the urge to pick up your phone, to call, to text, to check up on him, hold it back. Divert that energy to something else. Let him be the one to, to initiate the conversations. Let him be the one to initiate the activities. Stop diffusing all the chase with your constant checking in. Stop diffusing your mystery. There's a mystery you have as a woman. You're diffusing it so quickly because you're constantly texting, calling. It makes the man think that you're overly available, that you're always there, that you don't have anything you're doing with yourself. Because a woman who is thriving in her femininity, who is being a woman, who is working towards becoming a high-value woman, will not have time to think to be thinking whether a man has texted or a man has not texted. I'm telling you this one for free. So please, my sister, stop reaching out. Stop it. Men are the chasers. They want to be the ones to reach out. So don't do his work for him. Stop reaching out to him. Let him be the one doing the chasing. And if a man is not giving you any form of attention, don't go about seeking it from him directly. See, allow him to be the chaser. And if he's not chasing, if a man is not chasing, let him go. That should give you all the signs that she wants that this man is not for you. And I'm telling you again, a man that likes you, a man that wants you will show it in his actions. You don't need any more signs to know whether a man likes you or not. It will show from how he wants to how much, how, how often he wants to talk to you, when he wants to talk to you. Like he literally wants to talk to you at all times. He wants to be with you at all times. But if you, if you keep pushing and fussing and calling and texting and this man is not returning the favor, my dear, don't, doesn't that say something to you? Sis, please. Stop calling, stop texting, especially when you guys are just at the beginning stages and you're not friends yet. Get something doing with your life, okay? This fourth point is somewhat connected to the third and it's just simply stop focusing so much on him and focus more on yourself. When you meet a man, your life should not start revolving around the man, no. Don't throw away your friends because you just met a man. Don't throw away your head because you just met a man. You met a man because you met a man, your work is starting to suffer. The goals that you set for yourself is starting to suffer. Everything you set for yourself is starting to suffer just because you met a man. You met, your, you, you met a man, you dump everything else you are doing. You dump everything else you plan to do just because you want to make this man the center of your world so that he will like you. Men don't like such things. My dear, stop making him the center of your world. And then I tell you again, you need to learn to control your feelings. If a man is constantly the center of your thoughts, if a man has, has taken over your thoughts, all you can think about day and night is this man. Control yourself. Channel that energy. Train your mind. You have power over your mind. Train your mind to stop overly thinking so much about this man. Especially if this man hasn't proven himself. Hasn't proven his worth. Hasn't proven, has, hasn't shown you that he's loyal to you or is committed to you in any way. Why are you wasting good, valuable brain power, brain energy on a man who will not even do shingbai for you? Girl, girl, get up, okay? Stop giving your focus and your attention and an energy to a man who hasn't proven himself to you. Get up, okay? This next point on how you can make a man earn your attention is for you to bask in your femininity. The more you behave like a man, the less of a man he will be to you. This lady who was talking about, come and marry me, I will give you my wealth, I will give you my distance, hello? No real man needs a wealth or wealth from a woman. Any man who is interested in a woman's wealth or a woman's money, in my opinion, is not a real man. I said it again with my full chest. Any man who is interested in a woman's money or a woman's wealth is not a real man. Men that I know that are real men, no matter where they are or level they are in life, if they are real men, they will not be concerned about a woman's wealth. So you need to learn to bask in your femininity, learn to be a woman, and learn to let the man be a man. The men are natural providers. The men are natural caretakers. Stop doing the work of the man. Stop trying to step in and do his responsibility. You want to start mothering him. In fact, this one now leads me to my next point. Stop mothering your man. See, the more you do for him, the less he's going to do for you. You are not looking to be his mother. Your goal is to be his partner, okay? A mother on one side, I put here, if you are giving, if you are doing mother responsibility, it's a mother's responsibility to nurture and make his life easier, to baby him and wait on him for every, or for all of his needs. A partner on the other side, 
is simply an encourager who simply motivates him to take action. And a partner makes his life better, not easier. There's a difference. A mother makes his, her child's life easy. A partner makes the life better through encouraging, motivation, support, not always stepping in to do his dishes, to cook his food, to organize his schedule, wash his clothes. You are there doing everything. Are you his mom? Then you want to give him advice. You want to tell him how to do it. Like, girl, stop mothering your man. If you want to be a woman who makes his life better, then you need to just be that woman who holds him accountable. When he says he's going to do something, you ensure that he does what he says he will do. When he has a goal or a dream or an aspiration, get to it, brother. Get to it because... I'm not going to, I'm, I don't come this life to suffer with you. So get to that goal and get, go and achieve that thing you want to achieve. Make him better, not easier. I put down here that she allows him to be a man. The man, the woman who makes his life better allows him to be a man. So are you going to be the woman who makes his life easier or are you going to be the woman who makes his life better? A man is not your child. He's not your child. And let me tell you something. A man that you have to make his life easier, you can never honor. A man that you have to treat like a baby, 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 baby all the time. You won't respect. You want your man to step up to the plate and be a man. And the only way to do it is stop mothering him. Stop being his mother. Go and learn how to be a partner. So that you won't end up making this mistake of, come and marry me, please. I will give you my wealth. Who wants your wealth? The next point that I put down here on how you can make a man earn your attention is... Stop updating him about every single detail of your life. Good morning, babe. I just woke up from sleep. I'm about to go take a shower and get ready for work. I'll talk to you soon. No one cares. Hi, babe. I'm going to lunch with the girls. We're about to have a good time at a restaurant. You give him the detail of the restaurant. Nobody cares. Hi, sweetie. I'm going in for a meeting, a lunch meeting with my boss. He doesn't care about all of that. I'm telling you for free. Men don't like updates. And the ones that like it are just being controlling. And again, I'm telling you the truth. He doesn't need to know everything about you. Maintain your mystery. Girls, maintain your mystery. Updating him about, you're stressing him out. I've even been there with a man where a girl just kept updating and he was like, why is she telling me? I don't need to know. You're traveling. Babe, I'm at the airport now. I'm boarding my flights. Okay, we just, they just served us our first cocktail. Hi, look at me, I'm here. <laughs> Let me tell you the truth. The man should actually be the one asking about your whereabouts. Wanting to know how your day went. It's when he asks that you tell. But if he doesn't ask, girl, don't tell. Let him continue to wonder. Because if you want to know something, maybe you ask. I won't be giving... In your mind, you think, oh, it's cute to update your man. It's, it's cute. I mean, you can do that when you're married, when you guys are fully committed to each other. And then you just want to keep yourselves um you want to keep records or tabs of of your whereabouts and stuff that's that's that can be cute when you've established a commitment but you just met a man people are trying to still build friendship before you advance to the next stage you are there telling him every move i'm in the bathroom i'm peeing i'm in the bathroom i'm pooing i'm in the bathroom i'm i'm, I'm at the salon i want to go get my hair done don't tell if he doesn't ask he's the one that's supposed to be asking you the question remember he's the chaser if he's interested in knowing those little tiny details he would ask ask questions questions like Babe, what did you have today for dinner? Then you cannot start telling him the story. Or how did your day turn out? Then you cannot tell him the story. But even, even when he has asked, don't be giving him nitty gritty details. He's not your daddy. He's your partner, or rather your potential partner. He's not your dad. If he's your dad, you can maybe tell him everything. But if he's a partner you want to have as a, an intimate partner, you want to have a relationship with, don't give him every single detail. I don't approve. Okay, thank you. The next point that I've put down here on how you can make a man earn your respect or sorry, your attention is don't tolerate disrespect the first time it happens. I tell you for free, if the first time a man disrespects you and you let it go, you let it happen, just get ready to be enjoying disrespect because it will continue to happen. You need to learn to set boundaries very firmly but very respectfully as well. And then of course, stay loyal to your boundaries. Don't shift, don't shift your boundaries to accommodate a man. No. Stay loyal to your boundaries. If you accept disrespect ones, you better just accept it. You will just learn to love it because it will continue to happen. Again, like I said before, men will treat you the way you treat yourself. Even This is not even just for just men alone. Generally, people will treat you how you, they see you treat yourself. 
So if you treat yourself in a shabby way, people will treat you in a shabby way. But if you carry yourself and treat yourself with dignity, with esteem, with love, with care, people will pay attention and treat you that same way as well. So please don't tolerate disrespect the first time it happens. When a man disrespects you, firmly say, oh, brother, that will not be accepted in this territory over here. Mm -mm, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't talk to me that way. Mm -mm, you can't do that. I don't approve. Of course you're doing, don't match disrespect for disrespect. You're doing yours in a very respectful but very firm manner. You can't do that over there, over here. I don't appreciate being spoken to like that. Don't call me that name. Okay, the next point that I put down here is don't always be available every time he calls and invites you for an activity. Hi, babe. How are you? Pim, pim. You didn't allow the phone to ring once. Hello, babe. Oh, uh -huh. what are you doing? Oh, I'm just here waiting for your call. I've been waiting for your call all day. Don't be waiting for his call, my dear. Sometimes intentionally when he calls you, I'm giving you this advice. I'm, a, I'm your big sister now. Sometimes when he calls you, don't pick the first time. Don't even pick the second time. Then don't even call back for until six hours later. These are secrets that work. It will make the man look for you. Especially if the man likes you, he will find you. I'm letting out all my secrets. Men watching, exit this room now. We are not allowed in this place. <laughs> this is for my girlies alone. Seriously, don't be available when he calls. Sometimes intentionally ignore the call. I'm, I mean, for, again, this is not for when you guys are dating, like you guys are committed to each other. This is for when you're still in the talking phase, trying to get to know each other. I'm not saying don't pick your husband's call. I beg. I didn't say that. I'm just talking about the dating phase when you guys are still trying to get to know each other, learn more about each other and stuff. Don't pick immediately. And then when he says, let's go for dinner. Oh, I, 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 let's go for this activity. It's not everyone you say okay to. Say, only say okay to the ones that you really truly know you want to experience. Anyone that is about him and you know will bring him more pleasure than you. Kindly decline. Oh no, I'm so sorry. I have my Saturday fully packed already with some act other activities. Is it okay maybe if we try to do this sometimes next week? If the opportunity avails itself again, that man will respect you, ba. <laughs> this next one is actually one of my favorite ones. And this is one that would definitely make a man have to earn your attention. It's simply set the right standards for how you want to be treated very early in the relationship. Don't accept something that you know you will not accept personally. I think I made this point earlier. If you know you won't accept it from your brother, from your uncle, from your father, from your friend, from your anyone who's a man that's in your life that you like, but and this man does it, don't accept it. Stamp your feet. Stop trying to be loyal to someone who has not proven themselves to you. Stop trying to accommodate a man. Let me tell you something you don't know. The same man, this same man can treat different women differently. To one man, eh, this man, this, to one woman, this man is so respectful, such a big provider. He cares, adores, loves, ooh, does the most for her. To the same woman who he may also be interested in, he's disrespectful, mean, selfish, harsh, and brash. You might wonder, what's the difference? One woman is playing her feminine role fully. The other woman is accommodating his bullshit. One woman is stamping her feet on the ground and saying, no, 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 not over here. The other one is accepting his rubbish. Men like, men like hardness sometimes. There's a book I read. There's a book I read and I recommended on this channel a couple of, uh, I think months ago on my vlogs. And the book is Why Men Marry Bitches. Go and read that book. Read that book and have an understanding of how men think. And I still believe that some men, real men think that way today. One man is a, is a provider to one woman, the other woman is stingy to. Why? Because these two women have different understanding and are, are handling the matters differently. One is a complete feminine high value woman who will not take rubbish. The other one is, oh, I have to be good to him, I have to be, <laughs> men don't like it. When you're over there, <laughs> be hard. Set your standards, set your boundaries, and remain loyal to your standards and your boundaries, okay? The next point that I've put down here is don't blot out everything about yourself at once. Again, remember this episode is just centered around when you meet a man for the first time and you guys are trying to build something. Don't just pa 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 all over the place. Pa 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 You keep talking about everything. No. Again, ladies, maintain your mystery. Leave some things to the imagination. Some things are supposed to just be revealed on their own without you even saying it let the man continue to re 
to um, get become acquainted with you and all that you are gradually, gradually. Let him discover these things himself. It's sweeter than when you open your mouth. And for example, women who have achieved a lot, they are very good at talking about their achievements, talking about everything that they've done the first time they meet a man. No, don't do that. Don't even talk about your achievements. Let him see your achievements. Let him notice it by himself. Let him discover it himself. It's sweeter. Because when you talk about it, it feels like you're bragging about it. But when you allow him to discover, he's like, whoa, there's a lot of this woman that, that meets the eye. I need to discover more of her. Trust me, that man will pour attention on you. And the last point that I've put down here on my list for today on how you can make a man earn your attention is never beg for love or attention. It waters down your worth. It waters down your self-esteem. It is better for you to walk away with your head held high with your dignity than to beg a person to love you and accept you for who you are. My darling sister, you are already very loved. If you want to remember how much love you have, think about what Jesus came to do for you on the earth. Think about it. Think about how he sacrificed all he had just so that he could save you from sin and death and bring you into a kingdom of life and a kingdom of love. That alone, you should be able to rest in that in love alone. And anyone who cannot love you for who you are at the level where you are at doesn't deserve to be in your life. So let them go. Start paying attention to how people treat you and stop trying to accommodate them and be nice and sensitive to them. Pay attention to how they treat you. That's how you get your signals and your cues. And that should be how you decide what you do with that person. If a person is not forthcoming with his love or his attention or doesn't care about you, you have no business returning the favor or trying to beg him to like you or love you. Stop doing it. You have a whole beautiful, glorious, excellent life that can thrive and be so glorious without a man in it. I'm not against having a man, but I'm saying don't be pathetic like that video I just played. My final words to any woman who is watching me today who really cares about being something or making something beautiful about their lives. First of all, the most important thing you have to remember is your world doesn't revolve around a man. It's important to have a man who's committed to you, who cares about you. It's better to have a man who does that than a man who is a low value man and comes into your life and is taking, taking away from you and not adding any substance to your life. You don't need a low value man in your life. It's better for you to be alone by yourself than have a low value man in your life. These are the things that will help you somewhat attract a high value man into your life. Go back again, watch this video over and over again and let the words that I've spoken today sink into your head. Practice them. Practice them and watch how they will produce better results for you in the dating game. That's all I have for you for today's episode. I'll see you next time with another one. Until then, remember to stay very elegant. Take care.